Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Momax. This is their Q Power Touch wireless external battery pack. You can check it out on Amazon, of course, and of course I'll have those links in the description below where you guys can check it out. Now, this uh, does up to 10 watts wireless charging. It does have Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 and Power Delivery 3.0 built in. It is a 10,000 milliamp power bank and it only weighs 160 grams. So it's a very slim and compact profile for what it offers. We're gonna dig into it now and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is everything that you get once you get everything out of the box. Of course, you're going to get a um, charge cable here, uh, which is a standard USB to micro USB a charge cable for recharging the power bank. You can also recharge it, of course, with just your lightning cable. And this was designed for iPhone, iPad, and iPod. It'll, of course, work with any device uh, that is uh, Qi compatible as well. Uh, so you can charge up Androids and anything else. You can charge it with your uh, USB port on your laptop or your PC, or you can plug it in with an AC to wall adapter. Now they do give you uh, some uh, guides here. Uh, please refer to those if you do need to do so. I'm going to have up on the screen all the specifications for this device. So we'll put those up on the screen for you now. I will also have them listed below as well. Now let's take a look at the unit itself here. Uh, and it's got this nice woven pattern to it that makes it feel almost kind of like a leatherette or fabric to it. Uh, it's very uh, slim and compact. Again, only weighing 160 grams and being 0.6 inches. There is that area on the top for your wireless Qi charging. Uh, so you can charge anything that is uh, Qi enabled. You do have a power button here on this side. Uh, and you will also notice uh, that we do have some of these LEDs on the other side that will show you the status of how much battery you have left in your power bank, as well as a couple modes that I'll go over in just a few moments. Now, as far as the ports go, they are listed here. There's a lightning input port, so you can use the same thing that you do uh, charge your phone with to uh, charge this up. There is a uh, power delivery a type C input and output, so you can use that type C cable to do that as well. And there's a full USB Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 port as well. So we've got at least two outputs on here, USB type C, and uh, a full USB port and a wireless on the top uh, with that uh, lightning cable just being an input to recharge the power bank. Now, recharging the power bank with a standard 18 or 20 watt uh, iPhone charger is gonna take you about three and a half hours uh, to do so. Okay, so let's take a look at the device uh, and how slim this is. Again, uh, 0.6 inches, a nice covering on here. Uh, let's weigh this. Uh, they say that it comes out to 160 grams. I'm gonna do this in ounces. Uh, and it should be right around 7.7 .7 ounces is what my scale says. Uh, so you can get, get an idea of how slim and compact this is. Now to turn it on, all you have to do is just hold down the power button for a few seconds. You'll see some LEDs come on uh, to let you know uh, that how much you have left in your power bank here. And there's also a mode as well that I will go over here in just a second. Uh, the red light will come on when you're wirelessly charging, uh, green light when you're fast charging, uh, that type of thing. So if I wanna just plug my phone in, I can USB type C. Now this is capable to uh, do up to 20 watts. I'm at uh, about 78, 79% on my uh, phone here. And we're pulling about 13 to 15 watts right now, but the uh, charger can only do up to 20 watts. So I can get fast charging, but not super fast charging on my Samsung device. And you'll get a green LED uh, letting you know uh, that you are getting uh, fa uh, fast charging out of this. Now, if we want, of course, uh, to be able to do a secondary device, I have a full USB uh, a Qualcomm 3.0 port there right next to it, and I could do two wired devices at the same time. 
Now, when you unplug it, it kind of goes into a sleep mode here. Uh, so if you want to wirelessly charge a device, just make sure that you press the power button real quickly. It'll come on. You should just be able to plop it down. And you can see that a red light comes on, letting me know that I'm wirelessly charging and I'm good to go on the wireless charging. Now they do have a low power mode here for devices like uh, earbuds and things like that. Anything under 60 milliamps, uh, your uh, AirPods or AirPods Pro, whatever you're going to be using, if you double click the power button, you're gonna see that the lights go back and forth. This is in that low power wireless mode uh, for devices just like my Galaxy Buds. And you can see that the wireless light comes on again and on on my Galaxy Buds, letting me know that I'm wirelessly charging them. So overall, this is a pretty nice setup to be able to do up to three different devices. And although this was designed specifically for the Apple ecosystem, you can see we have no problems using this on uh, Android devices or any devices really uh, that you will be able to charge uh, one wirelessly and two wired at the same time. Uh, just be known that the total output on this is 22 point five watts total, uh, so they will be shared across these ports. Uh, but if you're charging one phone and say like your uh, buds like I'm doing right now, uh, you're not gonna notice too much of a slowdown there. Uh, does a capable of fast charging, not super fast charging on my Samsung device, and definitely uh, easy enough to charge a secondary device if I need to, plus having the buds being charged wirelessly on top works out very, very nice. Overall, uh, Momax did a great job on this. It feels nice, it's super compact and lightweight, uh, 10,000 milliamps of storage there on the battery capacity, and overall just a solid item in my opinion. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Momax Q a Power Touch Power Bank. I'll check you guys out on the next one.